tied. We won the novice horse one, two, and three. We tied the one. Well, congratulations on that. Tell me more about this horse. Um, he's an eight-year-old gelding, and um, I got him last July. It was really tough. Um, I lost my last horse. He's been really special and really good for me, and losing that, lot, that other horse that I was very close with was very hard, and I feel like this horse is a blessing, and, you know, we say win or lose, but he is a, he's a gift from God, and he is a blessing, so I feel lucky to have him. My week started out pretty rough. He was afraid of the arena, and um, I flew my husband here to help me get through it, and he showed a lot better today, um, and I'm thankful for that. I was draw 19, and you know we keep pulling up the live feed to see where we're at. But he's he's done well. We've done well in the show arena, and it's been easy for us to haul around. I hauled here with a friend. Uh, just me and her came along, and um, we hauled him and a couple other horses, and he's been he's been awesome. And he's a great fit. Tell me about his history before you got him. So I got him from Sebastian, and the gal had shown him at the Derby. She made the level one finals at the Derby, and she was, uh, I believe, like 14th at the Youth World with him. Um, he had only won uh, $900 when I got him. So, and like half of his mane was missing, and he was out in the pasture. And, what a diamond um, in the rough. Yep, so we, I had a four-year-old there that we had that, um, she just wasn't for me at the time. My dad had open heart surgery and I needed something a little bit more finished and um, maybe a little bit older. So we called Sebastian and Travis talked to Sebastian and he said that he would be you know, a good fit. So we went ahead and bought him. I didn't ride him or anything and we got delivered to Denver in July, so. Wow, it looks like it worked out well. Can you tell me about the run today? Um, started with the turns. Turns felt more solid than the first day. Um, he said he's spooky in this arena, so he kind of tried to hop out of one turn the other day. I was able to call on him in his circles. Um, I couldn't do that so far this week just because he's been a little spooky. And then his stops were okay for us. Um, I'm not gonna tell you it's all horse, so <laughs> I'll be working on that before my next run. Where do you plan to show him next? Um, I'm gonna go to Denver. We had talked about running for a million, but I don't know. And uh, he may get the whole month of September off. We might turn him out in our backyard. So. All right. Will you show here anymore at the Derby? Yeah, I'm going to show on Thursday, and then I, I'm not positive. I'm, I'm going to show on Sunday. Um, so for sure Thursday, and then we'll see how it goes to see about there's a maturity on Sunday. Awesome. Uh, who do you want to thank for helping you get here? My husband <laughs> for flying here and helping me. Um, the whole Jonathan's group and my friend Lindsay, we both um, said we drove here alone and <laughs> it was quite the trip, but um, just my family for their support. Um, it's not easy to have kids of teenage age and try to run and do well and, and have a job and, you know, do all that. So um, my job is nice because I can work on the road. Um, and I, like I said, I think that he's a blessing. So definitely give the credit to God on that. Mark Kellis had the privilege of being affiliated with the National Reining Horse Association for over 20 plus years. Uh, and fortunately or unfortunately, I've been representing Markel for uh, almost all those years as well. We. Um, are a very integral part of the horse industry. We intend to remain an integral part of the horse industry. When you look at organizations like the NRHA and NRCHA and other organizations that we have had the good fortune of representing, it's um, about what we can do for the people through the products that we have to offer. That being not only livestock mortality, but uh, commercial equine insurance, farm and ranch coverage, and also commercial liability and professional trainers liability. Uh, are they applicable to all? No, but that there are so very many people in the industry um, that can use what we have to offer, and I'm very fortunate to have a team of specialists that work 
with me for Markel, uh, our, our Western Discipline team, and uh, they offer products through for people, Western horse people in particular, throughout the country. Uh, we have some other opportunities that are becoming available now um, with the hopeful addition of uh, a new organization and some new entities along with some other products that Markel offers as a corporation, their winery coverage, their camp, camp and uh, path coverage that we've been involved with for years, and uh, I look forward to the next 20 years representing Markel.